Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Shannon Morse, and I know how it feels to jump into Windows 8 as a power user. Windows 8.1 came with plenty of new features for the operating system, but it's still rather annoying for a power user to get around. If you need a few simple but not apparent tips to help out your Windows 8.1 use, I've got them here for you today. First off, yes, Windows key plus R still pulls up the run command while you're on the desktop, so make sure to use it. Now that little start icon, that it looks pretty tempting, but it actually takes you back to the tiled start screen. However, right-clicking on this new button will give you a quick way to access the command prompt, programs menu, device manager, and even more. It's very nice. If you want to live directly in the desktop world, right-click on your toolbar, go to properties, and then navigation. Choose when I sign in or close all apps on the screen, go to the desktop instead of start. This will boot your computer directly to the desktop instead of the tiled start screen. From here, you can also show your desktop background on Start. This makes Start and Desktop feel a little more fluid and a little less like you're jumping into a completely different environment. Now the navigation menu can be helpful for your Start menu as well. Instead of having a jumble of apps not necessarily listed in any sort of way, you can have your apps listed by type. Choose Show the apps view automatically when I go to Start and then you can choose List Desktop Apps first in the Apps view when it's stor sorted by category. You can sort by Most Used, and it will act a bit like our old Start menu, showing your frequently used apps first. Lastly, let's turn your lock screen into a slideshow. You can open the Charms bar, choose Settings, and then Change PC Settings. Go to PC and Devices and choose Lock Screen. You can choose Play a Slideshow on the lock screen to add a little bit more personality to your computer when it is locked. Now hopefully these tips help you along while you're delving into Windows 8 or 8.1 because let's face it, most computers on the market this year come with that OS. And if you aren't keen on downgrading or switching to Linux, or it's a work computer that you really can't change, this will hopefully help. Now something that you can change is how many books you listen to this year. I'm a huge fan of Audible, last year I actually listened to 30 books because I'm a huge bookworm, and most recently I've been catching up on the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. Audible.com is the leading provider of downloadable digital audiobooks and spoken word entertainment. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, to be downloaded to your smartphone or MP3 player and played back anywhere, anytime. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash techzilla to get a free audio download of your choice when you sign up today. And for more from Techzilla, hit up youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com and share what you think below or tweet at techzilla. Thanks for watching.